Welcome to Epic Stock Due Diligence. Please subscribe at youtube.com forward slash epic stock DD. Thank you. Hey everyone, Ed here. And I just wanted to respond to a question, actually something that's popped up quite a bit. And that's, should I play big board stocks before I play penny stocks? Well, and that's an interesting question for me to answer because the first stocks that I traded were big board stocks. NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, American Stock Exchange. So it's easy for me to answer and say, yes, I would play big boards before I ventured into penny stocks. And let me explain at a high level why. So I'm going to assume that maybe you have no experience whatsoever trading yet and you're wanting to learn how to play stocks. Now one of the first things I would obviously recommend would be a simulator. If you call, if you call many of your, uh, of your big brokers, Ameritrade, E-Trade, etc., they're often going to say, okay, you can, uh, you can access our simulated uh, trading platform, which basically means that you're not putting real money on the table, but you're utilizing that broker's tools to learn how to trade. So you can place throughout the, uh, throughout the day, the trading day, you can place fictitious trades and see if you had been using real cash, how your, how your, uh, what, what would have happened? Would you have made money? Would you have lost money? I mean, that's just, uh, that's a good way to, uh, to experiment with learning how to play stocks without putting any real money on the table. It's just simulated, simulated from the standpoint that you're not putting real money out there, but realistic from the standpoint that the, uh, the speculations that you're making are centered around actual stocks that are actively trading in the market, but you're just not buying any of it. So whether it goes up or down, you're not you're not making money, you're not losing money because there's no real cash involved. So would I play big board stocks before penny stocks? Yes. Now as a beginner, why would I do that? Well, in the penny stocks, there's a lot of manipulation. And without going into a great amount of detail, you can check out my other videos on Epic Stock DD for that. But the manipulation causes very wild swings. So a penny stock can literally go to zero value in a matter of seconds. Big board stocks, most of these are respectable companies. Most of the big boards have listing requirements. Stock price has to be above for most like a dollar a share. These companies have thousands of employees, potentially thousands of employees. They care about the value of their company. They care, most of them care about their employees. And to see hypothetically a stock that's trading at a big board stock, let's just say American Stock Exchange, and it's trading at $35 a share. To see that stock overnight go from $35 a share to $0 a share, that is a very extremely rare occurrence. Now for a penny stock, to see a penny stock go from a penny and a half down to triple zero two, that's almost an everyday occurrence among uh, penny stocks. So that extreme amount of volatility, sure, if it goes the other way, that's what attracts people to penny stocks. Because if they get in when it's in the triple, let's just say dot zero zero, excuse me, all this pollen's killing me. But if they get in at the dot zero 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 three, which is a fraction of a cent, and they ride this stock up to uh, to a penny, that's some huge money. But with that potential for huge percentage increase comes an even greater potential for huge loss if not total loss. So for that reason alone I would recommend starting with big boards, starting with a practice account for big boards, and finding, identifying with that practice account some strategies that can better improve, one, better improve one's chances for success before actually putting any real money on the table. Because that's the last, that's the biggest mistake that a lot, I've seen a lot of traders make, is that they think, oh, all my friends are doing this, you know, I'm gonna just take $100 and I'm gonna get rich. And they take that $100, and literally within two trading days, they have zero left. Because they didn't know what they were doing. And the same person, and I've seen other people that take advantage of a practice account, learn some basic strategies, 
and start trading and they may turn that hundred dollars into a few hundred dollars. They may still lose it all even if they've done their research and seem to know what they're doing. There's no guarantees with the stock market. And that's something I'll carry on in some later videos is uh, some more specifics as to how one might better enable themselves to, uh, to place better trades within the stock market. And that's something I'm researching now. You probably saw my previous video pertaining to automated trading. And I think there's a lot of hidden value within automated trading, which I'll expose in some future videos. So subscribe if you haven't already. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash epic stock dd. And uh, also feel free to check out my book. It's in this video's description. It's on the main page of youtube.com forward slash epic stock dd. Just click that little button that says buy my book. It's entitled The Penny Stock Perfectionist. And it's available for purchase from the Apple iTunes Store. It works on an iPad, so a really good, uh, really good device to read that uh, that entry level stock penny stock knowledge from. So thanks for watching, and share this video and any of my videos with others. Y'all have a good day.